What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can change the network name inside Windows 8, 8.1 and Windows 10. Now I get asked this quite a lot and people say now they can't change their network name. You can but it's just changed a little bit different from Windows 7. But you can still use the registry and um, group policy uh, or local security policy inside um, Windows 7 as well if you've got the professional version. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you how to do that here. Uh, so what you want to do here, if you're on a Windows 8, you want to push the Windows key and S, and this will bring up the search box uh, on the right-hand pane here, but inside Windows 10, it will open up this little search box here. You can either type it in here, in, in this little search area here, or you can right-click on the Start button and go Run, and open up the Run box, and then type in here secpol. MSC and then click OK and that will open up the local security policy. Let me just open this up a little bit here. Now once you've got the local security policy box open what you want to do is come down to where it says network list manager policies and then go over to the right hand pane and you will see a little icon called network. Double click on that and there you have your network name. You need to go into name and if you can see it's not configured, you can now call this whatever you want. Uh, let's just say study, and then that's uh, click apply, click OK, and now our network name has been changed. Now the other way, what happens if you haven't got the um, professional version? Because to do that, you would need Windows Professional. Uh, or above like enterprise or something like that and if you haven't got that then you're going to need to use a registry key and I'll show you how to do that in the registry also so first off you need to open up the registry editor you can do that in whichever way you like you can either open up the run bar again or you do it in search and you can just type in here reg edit just like so click OK and uh, we're going to say yes here now on the right hand pane here, we want to go down to H key local machine, pull this down, and then we want to go to software, which is here, and then we want to go to Microsoft. Let me just pull this open a bit. Then we want to drill down to Windows NT. Let's come down here. There we have it. Right there. Just drop that little box down. Then we want to go current version. And then we want to do network list. Pull that box down there. And inside here, we want to look for profiles. And then drop that down. And you will see. There is either, you may have one or two in here, this is uh, just one inside here. And if we look inside here and we go over to the right hand pane, you will see profile name. Double click on this and now you can change the profile name to whatever you like. So let's just say we want to call this study, like so. Click OK, log off and log on and you will see uh, the name has been changed. So let me just quickly log off. And we'll log back in. And there we have it. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to go to control panel. And if we go to network and sharing center, you now see the name has been changed and it's now called study and that's how you can change your network name now this would normally just be called network but if you want to change it to something and you've got a number of networks and you want to change them to study uh, you know you can do whatever you like call them whatever you like anyway that's basically how you can change your network name inside Windows 8, 8.1 and Windows 10
Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any video requests or any problems with your computers, the forum is the place to go there. It's free to join, and you, uh, you can go there and join up over there. Uh, also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then head over there and give us a little like up over there. Okay, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for your support, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.